What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix a second-hand device that you bought from eBay or Craigslist or Kijiji or whatever that turned out locked. Unfortunately this is a quite common scam. You buy the device, it looks okay, but you update it or you restore it and then it's locked. And of course if you contact the seller either they vanish or they ask for more money. So you can fix it with a program called Any Unlock and this one is available over here on iMobby.com. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS and we'll be trying this program in today's video. Now you should definitely go ahead give a read to this page over here to see the compatible devices and as well as the compatible use cases and so on. And of course once you have all that figured out you can go ahead get the free download over here for the free trial and let's see how you can use it. Well with the device connected you go here into the program and there are a couple of modes you can choose from. The unlock screen passcode if you forgot your screen passcode, the unlock Apple ID if you forgot that, remove SIM lock, unlock screen time passcode if you forgot that one but what we need today is bypass iCloud activation lock also known as locked to owner so I want to click over here and then we can start now before you start this procedure you should know that devices unlocked with this method will not support sim card so you will not be able to place calls or use sms messaging you can install applications and you can use social media apps with wi-fi but you won't have sim card access that's one of the limitations and of course you should use this only on devices you own keep this legal please so i'm going to click the start now button over here with the device connected it will try to figure out what kind of device i have connected and it already has. Now this is my test device but it supports a large range of uh, devices and iOS versions. In this case it's an iPod Touch 7 generation, the latest iPod Touch they made and it's not jailbroken. It's also in recovery mode. So I'm going to press the bypass now button over here but you should as I said read the terms and conditions in here. In order to do this it will actually jailbreak your device temporarily so you should know that. It should be a checkmate compatible device for this to work. I'm going to press the bypass now button because your device is in recovery mode please exit from this mode. I'm going to press exit now. This will restart the device. We'll wait for it to go back online and this can take a couple of moments. Right so as you can see it says Geosnow's iPod is now connected and uh, yeah it's it says the 32 gigs version, the iOS version. It's a normal mode now. It's actually in the hello screen. I'm going to press bypass now with the device connected and we're asked to put it in DFU mode or device firmware update mode. Now you do that differently depending on the device. If it's an iPhone, iPad, iPod, touch if it's an older iPhone or a newer one. So you're going to have to go here. They have various models you can select from. In my case it's iPod Touch and I can select the Touch 7 and it will give me the instructions for my particular device. Yours will vary. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the instructions on the screen to put the device in DFU mode. You should do the same and I'm going to be right back. All right the device is now in DFU mode. It was detected automatically by the program. This may pop up. You can close it and it says bypassing and yeah it takes a little little bit of time uh, the checkmate screen has shown up on my device you can see the check rain icon which is this one over here and uh, your device may reboot a couple of times it's perfectly normal you just don't have to uh, touch it or unplug it just let it be until it finishes the entire procedure over here and um, this can take a couple of minutes yeah that's it iCloud activation lock is bypassed successfully it says but let's actually see live on camera I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to QuickTime so we can see the device's screen right so it's says welcome to iPod which means that we can now use this device no problem we can open the calculator and do whatever open applications and navigate to browser whatever so this used to be uh, locked it used to be in locked mode and now it's completely functional we do have previous data on this device but then it became locked that was done for testing purposes and this has indeed fixed it so you can see it says in here please do not factory reset the device or flash the firmware or the device will be locked again now you can log in with your Apple ID in order to get applications from the App Store. You can definitely do that. You can go here to App Store, grab whatever you feel like. But uh, you cannot go ahead and update the device. If you update it, it will require this bypass once again. And you can also not use the SIM card as I mentioned earlier in the video. Other than that, this should work. And this does work on iOS 18, 17, 16, 15, multiple other versions. So you press down in here and that's it. Same for MDM. You can use this to bypass MDM. MDM as well. That's essentially it. You can grab the program here on imobi.com and you can get this for both Windows and Mac OS. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.